Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do a little bit of crafting and I'm gonna share a hopefully quick tutorial showing you guys how I've been making t-shirts for the kids and myself using my Cricut that's behind me. Um, of course, today's video is sponsored by Cricut and I can't thank them enough for sponsoring today's video and just for getting me into the world of Cricut, okay? Because if you guys have been following me on Instagram, you know how much fun I've been having, like just doing these like little DIY projects. I've made shirts, I've made mugs. I made my favorite thing ever in the entire world, which is that shirt of Riley's drawing that like I, you know, I put the drawing onto a shirt, but I don't wanna like get ahead of myself. What I wanna do is just show you a very basic tutorial of how to make shirts because that's one of the things that a lot of people like to do with the Cricut. If you You've never heard of the Cricut before um, basically what it is is it's a cutting machine so it cuts different materials it cuts vinyl it cuts iron-on it cuts leather like there are hundreds of materials that the Cricut can cut and then once you have the little image or the words or whatever that's cut then you can put it on a shirt which is what we're gonna do today or you can put it on something that's acrylic that it'll stick to like there's just a lot of things that you can do with it and I know that it can be a little overwhelming. The first time that I got my hands on some Cricut materials, I was like, what, what the heck? Like, there's so much here, and I was a little bit overwhelmed. But I will tell you, from a non-Pinterest crafty person, once you start using it, you get the hang of it. It's very easy. So two things you have to know. Obviously, you need some kind of Cricut machine, and then you need access to what they call the Cricut design space. And that's what I have my computer open there for. It's a free software that you can download once you have your Cricut that allows you to basically design whatever it is that you're gonna end up printing out. So very simple concept. So what I'm thinking for today's tutorial is I'm going to go ahead and make the kids some Thanksgiving shirts. So I wanna show you the design that I've already created um, here using design space. I just used one of their fonts. I used just like a little image, put it together, and now we're gonna print it out so that I can put it on a shirt. So I'm hoping that you guys will be able to see this, but this is what I'm going to try to put on their shirt. So something that says Mama's Little Turkey. So I'm just gonna show you what the design space looks like. This is like the place where you can go to change your fonts. You can type in whatever it is that you wanted to type in, see how I'm adding extra words, if I wanted to put my name, whatever it is that I wanted to do. You customize all of that using design space. But I have already decided that this is what I wanna put on their shirts. So I'm going to weld this together. And then once I have that, I don't really want these hearts. I don't know why these hearts are there, but I'm gonna click on make it. And the system is very um, intuitive. Like it walks you through everything. So it's asking you here, like how are you gonna load all of your materials for this project without a mat? on a mat. So if you're new to Cricut, um, that's kind of one of the things that you have to figure out, like what kinds of materials you're gonna use. For this project, we're using Smart Iron-On, which means that we don't need a mat. If you don't know what a mat is, this is what we consider a mat. So some materials that you use, you would need to put on a mat so that it has something like hard to stick onto so that once you put it through the machine, it can cut it. But what I like about the Cricut Explore 3, which is what we're gonna use today, is that you can use some smart iron-on materials. You don't need a mat. So point is that over here, we're gonna click without a mat, and then I'm gonna hit done. I am gonna go ahead and get rid of these hearts. This is the first time I tried doing like getting rid of something once it's here. I'm sure there was a better way to do that, but what I'm gonna do is I am going to mirror it because when you use iron-on, um, you need to mirror your image. So just things that you start learning as you go. But I have my artwork here, I've mirrored it. I'm gonna hit continue. I'm gonna make sure that my machine is connected and then I'm gonna choose which materials I'm gonna use. So that's one of the things that I really like about the program itself is just like how easy it is to do everything. Like you don't have to be super computer savvy. You just have to now pick what material you're using. So since we're using Smart Iron-On, I'm just gonna hit Smart Iron-On over here and then you can adjust like the pressure. I usually don't. And then at this point, it's just gonna tell you like what you have to do. Load the tools and the materials, make sure that you have your blade in. That's this guy over here. This doesn't really ever go anywhere, so it is. And then this light over here is blinking, which is what I'm gonna press once my materials are in here so that we can load it. So I'm hoping you guys are still with me. Um, like I said, not difficult to do whatsoever. It's just about creating your design and then picking your materials, figuring out where you're gonna put it. So since I'm gonna make shirts for the kids, 
kids um i'm gonna select what color iron on i want to use so they have everything like from holographic um colors like this is one that i haven't used yet that is probably very pretty but we're gonna stick to something very simple and we're just gonna use some white iron on today for the kids shirts i'm gonna be putting the design on just like a basic gray tee so if they have white lettering on it then I think that that's really gonna pop. So now let's go ahead and load this smart iron on into the machine and then we can go ahead and start cutting. Okay, so something else that's kind of worth noting if you're making shorts or if you're making any project either um, is just that you're gonna wanna size it to the right size. So measure whatever canvas you're gonna be putting whatever it is that you're cutting on and you can go making this bigger or smaller. You see how these numbers up here are changing? That's telling me how big the project's gonna be. So I need to know like what size I want this to print as so that I don't make it like too big for the shirt or too small. So that's something that you wanna do before you go on to like the next setting. Something that's pretty cool too about Design Space is that if you go to templates, if you search t-shirt, you can get a template of a t-shirt, but since this is gonna be for kids, I think the one that I use sometimes is pajamas because it kind of gives me like a onesie look. So here I can see what this project would look like on a onesie, right? And then I can kind of go centering it or figuring out like how big I want it to be. So I'm gonna make a pocket t-shirt for the kids, like where the design is just like on the side. It's not like a whole entire um, t-shirt design. So I want it to be kind of on the smaller side. So this is like, I think that should work. Um, if not, we'll have to do it again. But that should work. You're not gonna be printing this out. It's just a template so you can see what it's gonna look like. So if you go over here and you click off of that, you'll see like this is what you are going to be printing. So let's continue. Okay, so pretend that you don't see the mess that's on my bed. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out the roll of vinyl. So again, this is smart vinyl, which means that this is all you need that's gonna go into the machine. So this is the material that the machine is gonna cut. For smart iron-on though, there's like a glossy side and there's a matte side. You wanna make sure that you put the glossy side down um, because that's the way that it's gonna cut. I don't know exactly why, I don't know the logistics, but I know that the glossy side goes down. So you wanna make sure that your Cricut machine is far away enough from the wall because the material is gonna go through and like if it's too close to the wall then it's gonna get stuck. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this right in here and then I'm gonna click the little flashing load button and that's gonna feed the paper through. And then it'll measure to make sure that I have enough materials because it's not gonna let you cut if you don't have enough materials. And then, you just hit the little blinking go button and it's gonna do the cutting. All right, so once it stops, it means that it's done with the cut and then it's gonna blink the little unload load button, which means that you can unload the materials and then you have your cut. So that's it for like the Cricut machine itself. Like that's all we needed it to do. We needed it to cut the material. I actually went back and duplicated the design so that it's like two of the little mama's little turkeys that I was cutting because I'm gonna make one for Jackson and one for Riley. Um, so we printed both of them out here. So at this point, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cut like what we're actually going to be putting on the shirts because like I have all of this material. I don't need all of this material. So that it's a little bit easier for me to use. I'm just going to, um, just cut the design itself. And I'm trying not to waste much vinyl, right? Because vinyl can be expensive. Like you wanna try to save as much of your scraps as you can too, because if you save your scraps, one thing that you can do, you can put the scraps on the green mat and then feed that into the um, the Cricut. So just a heads up, just because like I didn't use this piece, like I can still use it again in the future. So save your scraps. So now what I'm gonna have to work with are two little, things I'm gonna put on the shirt. So one thing that says mama's little turkey, one thing that says mama's little turkey. But first, what we have to do is we have to weed these out because there's a lot of extra material that we don't need. So I'll show you guys really quick what the weeding process looks like. Okay, so forgive me, my desk area is a mess, okay? But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take the little weeding tool. It looks like this. Um, I shared how we like weed stuff in the last Cricut tutorial that I did. If you wanna see me like make a mug um, and use vinyl instead of iron-on, you guys can go check out that video. I'll link it down below. But we're gonna take Take like the very corner of the design and we're just gonna like lift it up and we're gonna go weeding 
this material. And what that does is it removes all of the stuff that we don't want to go on the shirt, right? I don't need this outline, so I'm gonna go weeding this entire thing. I hope that I have not lost you guys yet, I promise you. It's not as complicated as you think, okay? Once we have this, all we end up doing is just putting it on the shirts and then we're gonna use the heat press machine to get it to stick. But first, like I said, we're trying to get rid of all this extra material and getting into um, like the middle of the letters. Like if you have an O, you're gonna have a little bit of um, the iron on or the vinyl in the middle of the O. You wanna try to get that out. I'm not being super gentle here, which I should because sometimes it can get a little bit tricky but you see we're making progress so now it says mama's little turkey i'm gonna continue to weed until all i'm left with is just what i want to go on the shirt so let's just keep doing that obviously the more complicated your design the more you're gonna have to weed and the smaller that you make your design too the, the harder it is to weed if you make something that's bigger or you make something that's very simple then it's not going to be as much that you have to do of this so that's just like a personal choice there all right so that's what it looks like once all the weeding is done so it looks backwards because what we're going to do is we're going to put it on the shirt like this and then we're going to transfer it onto the shirt with the heat so that's one of the reasons why you've got to mirror the cut when it's going on the shirt okay so now that we have our little designs that are going to go on our shirts the next step is to take your cricut easy press and we're going to heat that up so that then we can put these onto the shirts so i'm gonna turn it on over here i'm also gonna try to figure out what the settings need to be for these particular shirts so to do that what you can do is just open up your phone or your computer whatever go to cricut heat guide or just search cricut heat guide and then there's a way for you to just like pick which um, machine you're using and then which kinds of material you're using walks you through every step of the way so like here we're using the cricut where is the smart iron everyday iron on smart materials so smart iron and then you select what material you're using so this is 100 percent cotton um for shirts is usually what i use and then you're gonna hit um, then you select that you're going to use the Cricut Easy Press mat, apply. So it'll tell you here the heat that's like optimal for this transfer. So 315 degrees for 30 seconds on each side or 30 seconds on one side, 15 seconds on the other side. So just so you know, like you don't have to figure it out yourself. You can just go to the heat guide. So I want to make sure that the temperature is going to go up to 315, 30 seconds. So we're going to let that heat up. It'll beep when it's ready to go um, just so that it gets hot enough to transfer the material. So then once that's ready, what I like to do is I take this, which is essentially like a big iron. Can you guys see that? This is super hot, so you don't want to touch it. So what I do is I just kind of heat up the shirt really quick and just kind of flatten out the surface you can also take like a lint roller just to make sure that there's nothing there um and then you're going to take your design and you're going to figure out the placement for today's i'm just going to kind of eyeball it but if you wanted it perfect you could measure it out i'm going to eyeball it to be right about there and then i'm going to follow the instructions of the heat guide and i'm going to put this for 30 seconds if you hit the little green button there over the cricket it's going to count down um, the seconds here so you don't have to like be measuring the time like you don't have to be timing it it goes counting it down it was a little bit difficult to do that with one hand but just so you can see it starts counting down and then after the 30 seconds it'll beep perfect and then it means that it's ready um, you could do it again like if you had a really big project where like the entire thing wasn't covered you could always do it again I'm just gonna kind of run over it just one more time on the side just to make sure that that transfers and then I like to flip over the shirts and do another 15 seconds like right where the image is just to get the back side of it so we're gonna do that see if I go to time I could say okay let's just do this for 15 seconds even though at this point it's been down for a, lot, a little bit longer than that and have it count down from there so you can adjust the temperature and the time just so you know I'm going to lift it up because it was on there a little bit longer than that. And then what you're going to do is, I think for this one, it'll tell you in the heat guide, like when you should take off um, the material. So this one says, slowly remove liner when cool to the touch. So I'm going to let this just um, 
cool down a little bit and then we can peel this off and then the shirt is done. Okay, can you guys see that? I'm trying to make sure that you guys are getting like the right angles, but now that it's had a few minutes just to cool down, I'm gonna start lifting, usually from one of the corners. I start lifting from one of the corners and you'll see that the vinyl just sticks on to the shirt and the liner comes right off. Probably could have waited a little bit longer for it to cool, but of course here I am impatient. If for any reason you see that it hasn't completely transferred, just put a little bit more heat. But there you guys is my shirt. So tell me that that is not super cute. So now I have a shirt for Jackson. This one's for Jackson. I'll make Riley's really quick. And then they have their matching little DIY homemade shirt. So that my friends is it. Now we've got two little t-shirts for the kids that dropped the other one. So one for Jackson, one for me, and then I'm thinking of making myself like a sweatshirt that says Thankful Mama. So that's like a design that I'm working on over there in Cricut Design Space so that I can then print it. But this is super cute. Obviously, the smaller that you make your print, the less amount of vinyl you're gonna need. So that's totally up to you. I could have made the same exact design and made it huge and put it all over the shirt but I decided to keep it small. It's kind of how I did their Halloween shirts. I did one that said like, hey boo, and it was really cute that they really liked. But that is the process of t-shirt design. I know it may seem a little overwhelming if you've never done it before, but that's why I challenge you if it's something that you want to do, just try it out, just do it. Even if you start with the simplest thing, like start just printing like a heart on a shirt. Like the more that you do it, um, I think the better that you get at it, the more confident you get. I find this so therapeutic now. I've been telling you guys that I just, I love it. Like I'll be like just doing my normal thing throughout the day and then like I'm like, oh wait, that would look really cute on a mug. And then I'll start working on a design. Then I'll put that on a mug. I've made ornaments already. Like I have so many plans now for the holidays. So definitely, check it out check out cricut um remember they have like this one that i use here is the cricut explore 3 but if you're looking for a smaller machine maybe to get started the cricut joy is the machine that i started with you can still print um like iron on you can make shirts with the cricut joy but the cricut joy since it's smaller you can only make smaller designs so like a design like this you could probably get away with using the joy if you wanted to do like a bigger print um that's when it's kind of like going to be better to use a bigger machine but let me know what you guys thought let me know if this was helpful in any way like a lot of you guys on instagram lately like you've been seeing my shirts and you've been asking for a tutorial so i hope that that helped and i hope that it helped to like explain and show you a little bit about the cricket if you're new if you want to see some more tutorials definitely let me know i'll be happy to make some more for you guys and we can do like some craft together videos i don't know is that like something you guys would want to see let me know also remember today we used the smart iron on but you can use just regular um like cricket vinyl and use the mat if you don't have like the smart material they also have things like the smart vinyl if you're gonna put something on a mug so like iron-on is for shirts vinyl is for other materials it kind of just depends on what you're making Cricut has seriously just so many things that you could go crazy buying materials but they have things like this which is their smart paper the sticker cardstock you can make stickers like on here like on the back it shows you how this person they just like printed out pictures of dinosaurs on cardstock like this and then they used it for like a little DIY you know craft for I'm guessing this is like for school or a party or whatever I'm gonna be using um, a lot of cardstock to make some materials for like Riley's homeschool crafts and activity so I'm excited to get into this I've been working on shirts and mugs but like this will be like the next thing that I kind of venture into you can also pick up a bunch of their tools so they have like tool sets like this um, think about the holiday season if you want to give yourself something this holiday season This might be something that you want to put on your holiday shopping list Christmas list for yourself Um, so yeah, that is it you guys. I love your freaking faces again A huge thank you to cricket for sponsoring today's video and for letting me do this Um, i'm obsessed. I never in a million years thought that I would love using the cricket as much as I do And that's like saying a lot because again, I am not a pinterest mom. I am not someone who is crafty by nature I don't know how to sew i don't really use fabrics and things like going to a craft store is usually like very overwhelming to me and now i feel like it's becoming a thing you guys it's becoming a thing i'm becoming a crafty mom and i love it so that is it make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it subscribe if you're new and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys